Hey guys, Alice Fever here, and welcome to this 88 rated Gilhermo Ochoa player review. This card was released as part of the Festival Football promo in the team of the tournament for the World Cup. Ochoa usually performs really well for the Mexican national team, as he was first really noticed in the previous World Cup in Brazil. Anyway, this card is currently going for around 20 to 30k, which is a decent price. So, as you can see on screen, this is the team I used him in, starting of course with Ochoa in goal. Cedric, Hosu, and Bodji in rows in defence. Son, Gay, Ali, and Zaha in midfield with Jesus and Rashford in strike. Achoa is 6 foot 1 with the acrobatic save technique. He's right footed and has a 3 star weak foot and 1 star skill moves. I use him in basic, gloving cat chemistry styles, and for me, he played the best with cat. So, moving into the game clips, I'll start with his positives. The first one being his reflexes. They aren't always amazing, but he is capable of making some crazy reflex saves that you really expect to be a goal. This is similar to how Larissa's 93 card played, as he can stop some shots from about 3 to 4 yards between the goalkeeper and the attacker. He also managed to make a reflex save using his feet, which considering he doesn't have the saves of feet trait, is a positive. The next positive is his speed at 58, which even at this point in the game is still considered fast for a goalkeeper. He does well to leave his line quickly and either collect the ball from the attacker or to deal with any incoming pressure. I'd recommend that if you do get this card, you take full advantage of his speed and use him as a sweeper keeper because I feel this is what he would play it best at doing. The way he deals with crosses is also due to his high speed. He comes out either to collect the ball or punch it away from danger most of the time. Something which stood out to me, however, is that he fully commits to dealing with the cross, and because of this, he comes out more often than not. No matter where the cross is fallen into the box, I'd always bring him out, as he does manage to reach them most of the time, and he actually comes out on top. The final positive is his distribution. He does have the long throw trait, so throwing wise, he's the best you can get in the game. His kicking is also really powerful and accurate, and he can kick the ball deep into your opponent's half, allowing for an easy way of counter-attacking, especially from corners. Now onto the negatives, the first one being his diving. Although he seemed to get decent diving animations, he conceded a lot more goals than he saved. He rarely managed to dive to save the ball, unless the shot was fairly central to him, and not heading towards the corner. However, the thing that contributed to his poor diving is his height. At 6 foot 1, I'd say that Ochoa's height really affects him, more than most small keepers. He struggles to reach most shots when faced from all distances. As he dives quite well, but never managed to stop the ball from going in the back of the net, I'd have to say this is the reason why it's so bad in game. The next negative is his positioning, and this was the worst thing about the card in my opinion. He rarely was in the right position wherever your opponent was stood, both inside and outside the box. Because of this, he felt a bit like a bronze keeper, as nearly every shot he faced went in. He's possibly the worst goalkeeper that's high rated against long shots that I've actually used, and he never seems to be in the right position to save any type of shot, including a cross goal, near post and finesse shots. I also notice that sometimes when your opponent is inside the box, Acho will leave his line slightly but won't actually come out to collect the ball. This of course makes him easier to score against if you leave him as he's sitting around the edge of his 6 yard box. The only other alternative is that you tell him to come out and get the ball, and hope that he reaches it in time. The overall shot blocking aspect of the card was really poor, and it's what makes his diving and abilities come out useless sometimes. I've considered some goals where he pushed it into his own goal, but the real problem is that he allows too many shots to go right past him, or next to him, or even underneath him. A choke can be really frustrating in game, as he's bad from distance because of his poor positioning and height, but he's also bad from inside the box most of the time, as he should be making a better attempt on the ball to stop it from going in. The next negative, and again a really important one, was his handling. Although it's been boosted from 69 all the way up to 83, it's still almost non-existent in game. The only time he hung onto the ball was from really weak shots. He even pawned away easy catches, such as a headed pass back and a contested ball in the air, which he decided to punch instead of catch, and as a result I considered a goal that I couldn't do anything about. However, what makes this even worse is the fact that he doesn't push the ball behind or out wide most of the time, which opens him up to conceding a lot of second chances. So overall, I'm going to give 88 Achoa a 3 out of 10. I think this is the worst rating I've ever given a goalkeeper I've reviewed, which is a shame because I enjoy watching Ochoa's performances for Mexico in the World Cup. But most of the time, it literally felt as if I had no goalkeeper in my goal, and he was coming out of games with one or two saves and conceding five or more goals. This card will single-handedly make you lose games, and considering he's in a league which I consider non-competitive in terms of FIFA teams, it's better to stay well away from this card. You can easily get a better keeper for 2k rather than spending over 20k on this card that's a complete waste of money. Although he does have a few positives, overall he fails to do the job as a goalkeeper on this game. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.